Hello, right, I've uh, never really paid attention to this, but uh, I just saw it as a little experiment. Uh, I'm gonna play a series of chords, just uh, chord progressions. So uh, you can see it, see my fingering positions. So C, A minor, F, G, D, B minor, G, A, E, C sharp minor, A, B, then G and G sus, G seventh, G sus, G minor to G, uh, B seventh, E minor, B seventh, E seventh, then an E seventh bar, A, A, oh, what's that? F sharp minor, A, A seventh, F. D minor, F, F minor, and C. That wasn't a song or anything, I just sort of wrote out those progressions. Because I'm going to now show you what it looks like from the back. Uh, I'll move this notepad so I can read the same chords. I'm going to play exactly the same thing. And uh, so there's my C. Already you can see where my thumb is, pointing up straight up the middle there. C. A minor, F and G, D, B minor, G and A. Same chords. Ah, my thumb's changed there. It's pointing up for the G seventh. And there's my G, but back pointing up the neck again. Okay, that's the E7th. That's my thumbs twisted right around because my hand needs to shift quite, uh, quite a lot to reach that chord. But there's the E7th as a bar. All my bar chords, my thumbs pointing up the stock. It gives me a lot more strength to hold the, the bar chord. That one's twisted around a bit. That's a F sharp minor from the A. pretty well pointing up. Sometimes I was right in the center of the stock there, pointing, holding a maximum strength on the stock so I can push against it. I'm almost never pointing this way, unless I'm really twisting around for the uh, E seventh, the G seventh, and maybe the F sharp minor that I was holding. Uh, so I've just played 20 chords there, um, and a lot more if you consider that those bar shapes uh, you know, an infinite number of chords up the neck and the only three chords where my thumb was pointing up. So uh, I think I haven't had any trouble at all with my thumb pointing along the headstock. Cheers.